So most of us will be pretty happy with what I'm talking about in terms of this front plank position. The fact that we're wanting to keep as straight a line as possible from ankles through to the top of your head. Now, where most people go wrong, especially when they start to fatigue, is they start to sag through the middle. They start to allow their bum to drop down towards the ground. They arch their low back. They're not really using those abdominals at the front of the abdominal wall, those six pack abs as we think of them, as well as those deeper abs, so muscles like transverse abdominus, etc., effectively to maintain this nice bit of stiffness through the midline to keep this nice, strong, straight line plank position. Now, a simple cue, if you find yourself here, is twofold. Squeeze your bum and draw your belly button in to bring yourself back to this nice, straight line plank position. Now, from there, another error people make is they actually end up lifting their butt too high. Now, if you end up in this kind of almost downward dog type position, it actually takes a bit of the strain off your core, but puts a lot more emphasis on your quads. So again, we don't want that. Now, what we do want is shoulders over elbows. But where some people go wrong is they end up very long here. That in itself puts a lot more strain through the shoulder itself, as well as creating a longer lever to make it harder for your core. Now, the last one, the last thing I want to think about is actually about head position. So again, I'm looking up and talking to the camera, so I'm not doing a great example here, but what we want is hands relaxed in front of you, eyes focused about this position, so the head is fairly neutral. Instead, we see lots of this. And as the head lifts up, the upper back and the C-spine starts to extend, and that's gonna encourage you to drop your hips down back into that first mistake we, we spoke about. So head in neutral, low back in neutral, and hold.